everybody. This is Breakneck TV. My name's Tyler, and I'm here with my son, Kerm. And we are here today to do a little unboxing slash customization of a wrestling ring. So, first of all, we had a old SummerSlam, uh, old, old ring that I had gotten for free online from a friend. Um, and I'll show you pictures of that now. And uh, it was broken, uh, so we knew we had to get a new ring to replace it. So what we did uh, was we went and got this ring from Mattel. The SmackDown Live and Royal Rumble basic Mattel ring. And it has blue, uh, as you can see it has like blue ropes on it for the SmackDown. We already have a SmackDown Elite Scale ring, so we're not going to use it as SmackDown. We're going to do one side Royal Rumble, and then Cam's going to find whatever side he, whatever he wants to do on the other side, and we're going to put stickers on the other side to customize it. But anyway, uh, we took the red ropes from the old SummerSlam ring, and we're going to use that on our Mattel ring. Over here, Cam has the guys that are on the package. We might as well talk about the packaging. Looks real nice and clean. Mattel always does, always does great with their packaging. As you can see on the box, you got Samoa Joe, uh, Finn Balor, Roman Reigns, and Elias. Those are basic figures, it looks like, which makes sense. It is a basic ring. On the bottom here, it shows you that you do get the two events in one. Royal Rumble and Smackdown Live and that's a reversible ring skirt so you can have it be a Smackdown Live event or a Royal Rumble event. And you might have already seen those Elias on video again. That's right we did do a video on that Elias. Uh, Cam has each of the guys that are on the box here just to show you for fun and then at the end he's going to use them to test this baby out. Uh, on the back, you can see that there is a uh, there's a Raw and Survivor Series one available as well. But I happened to find uh, the Royal Rumble and SmackDown one where I was at, so I jumped on it. Um, that's about all you could tell from the packaging. Uh, it's without opening it up. It's pretty basic. Uh, Mattel has kind of like a slide on and off packaging, so you can kind of see and feel the ring which is cool, you get to feel it in your hands before you buy it. Uh, but to talk about what it's really like, we gotta get this open, so I'm gonna let Cam unbox it so we can play, put this bad boy together and play with it. Alright, so we got this unboxed. Uh, we're going to show you the contents of it before we put it together. As you can see, Cam's playing with and showing you the ring. The apron is kind of, uh, what do you call it, like spring loaded, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it was a little bit harder to take apart than I thought just because everything was taped down really well, which is a good thing. Um, as you can see, it comes with your stickers. Smackdown Live Royal Rumble, of course the WWE logos for the ring posts, for the turnbuckles, and for the center of the ring. Four uh, ring posts with blue ropes. Uh, and we are going to switch out the blue ropes for red ones, but all you do to untie these ropes just get them off from the top and then you kind of unwrap them. Cam's testing out the canvas there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch these blue ropes out for red ropes and put all the stickers on and we'll come back and talk about the ring a little bit more. Yeah. Superman, come on, to the stickers. 
All right guys, so we got this set up. I would say it took about 10 to 12 minutes to put together. Uh, the hardest part about it is there's a ton of stickers. So all these little stickers, and if you've ever put stickers on a playset, you know it's a nerve wracking experience because usually once you set them on there, you can't get them off. So be very careful. I like to use a credit card to kind of smooth out the any bubbles or uh, edges to make sure everything is pressed down nice and flat so you get a good seal the first time you do it and then you'll uh, be able to enjoy it looking its best for a long time. It does have a spring loaded ring. It's a nice metal basic. These steps do not come with it. These steps are ones that we already had. Uh, but they do pop right on there and look nice. As you can see, we have the Royal Rumble setup going here. WWE logos in the center of the ring on each turnbuckle and down the ring post, which the ring post thing is a new addition, I believe, and I think it looks really nice. What about you? Yeah. And What's your favorite thing about this ring? Um, is that you can change it to once that it has a spring and then you can make um, be on the top. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Definitely, you're gonna have a lot of fun playing with this ring. Should we show them quick how the Slide how you can change the? So, like I said before, this was supposed to be a SmackDown or Royal Rumble uh, ring. See, all all you do is slide it in there. It's got these bad boys that slide in and out very easily. And we'll flip it around to SmackDown here and show you how easy it is to make a SmackDown ring. We're gonna probably customize the SmackDown side since I said, like I said, we already have a SmackDown ring. So we're probably gonna customize the SmackDown side and put whatever we want in there. The original blue ropes that came with the ring, we're gonna put these away and keep them in case we need them for a new ring in the future. What do you got to say to YouTube, Cam? Bye! Again, this was Mattel's basic ring with the switchable SmackDown Live and Royal Rumble. Remember to subscribe.